Hey, what's going on? Uh, how you guys doing? I'm doing good, having fun, just showing off. I did some work here, I really thinned this whole place out, man. It was overgrown, a lot of ferns, I ripped them all out. You can see some of the plants I planted again. Uh, don't worry, in a couple of weeks, it's gonna be a jungle again. This is the powerhouse of the recreation pond. Um, what happens is, all that nitrogenous waste gets sucked up into the plants, and if you remove them, if you cut them, you're actually removing that. Um, pretty much from the biofilter. So went ahead, did all that, thinned this all out, and uh, yeah, looks great. Everything's gonna come back to life. I wanted to kind of get these alocasia spreading out a little bit more, and uh, I don't know, I'll kind of get to work prettying this up, maybe some mulch and things like that, but that is not what we're doing today. What we're doing today is, you see this cage right here? I was kind of thinking, I have a couple months before we rip this thing out, and we transform this whole area into one large walk-in enclosure. And so I thought, you know what? This cage is just chilling. Nobody's in it. And I thought, well, this would be a great opportunity to get the baby sulcatas that I have and kind of get them out here. There's all kinds of little plants that they can nibble on. They can walk around, they can get out in the natural sunshine all day long, as opposed to partially uh, part of the day, as you'll see here in a minute why. We got some ferns for shade. Um, I've blocked this off because I don't actually want them to go into the cave because it's hard for me to reach my hands back. But I wanted to come in here and look around and make sure there weren't any other areas that they can kind of get into the back of the cave. And it doesn't look like that. We'll check there, no problem. Let's come over here. Do you guys see anything? Some simple places where they can kind of hide, but uh, not exactly any place that is going to be a problem for me to get them out uh, when I get them new homes, when people uh, purchase them. So I just thought it would be a really cool place for these guys to be raised up in some really beautiful sun and um, Kind of would be cool to see just a bunch of little tortoises walking around in here. So that's what we're going to do today. We're going to see some of the baby tortoises. I'm going to go ahead and dial this enclosure in for tortoises. Uh, so we'll need a shallow water dish. So we're going to remove this one. We've got automatic watering, which will be great. So we'll just remove this. I'll go get a shallow water dish. I've trimmed off some of the plants that were growing on this because I want sunlight to be able to get through. Uh, so these animals can bask and uh, yeah, we'll just kind of cruise on over and I'll show you where I have the tortoises currently. Here's a little, I was cleaning out some of the algae and stuff in the pond, by the way. Pond's looking amazing, as always. And uh, overall, things are just going really well here. I'm super stoked. We've been having a lot of fun. Um, weather is changing. It's not, it's still pretty hot. Who am I kidding? It probably will be hot until the end of October, but I'm dealing with it better. Just when you get used to the heat, it shuts off. So here's what's going on. I separated out my little buddy, this radiated tortoise. I wanna just kind of keep an eye on him, make sure he's doing well, which he is. We had some food yesterday, we're gonna pull that out. Um, but also kind of what was fun, folks, is that in addition to our little friend, the radiated tortoise, I also found, let me show you guys. Yes, check it out. Do you know what this is? This right here is a baby Cora ambienensis, a Malaysian box turtle baby. I found it in the skimmer of the pond out front of the original aquascape ecosystem pond that I got. Um, so life is happening, folks. They're making their way to the ponds. I find them and uh, there they are, man. Beautiful little guy. So I'm super happy about that. It's always cool to kind of find these little boogers hanging around. Here's our bin that we're gonna put our tortoises in to carry them over to their new home. And I think that'll be neat as well. Uh, but right now, what I gotta do is I have to take the good old little guy, the radiated tortoise enclosure off. We're gonna put the radiated back in here with the cherry heads. We're gonna keep the cherry heads in there. The ones that I found, I'll show you them in a second. You don't worry about that. Let's hope that I can do this. Oh yeah. You gotta bend at your legs, bend at your legs, not at your back. Okay, come over here. Come here, come here, come here. Sorry, hold on, it looks a little 
little. Oh, man, it's much better, much better. Um, so anyway, you guys remember, look at this guy, Don Kleinen. Hey, dude. But you remember we had found cherry head tortoises in the enclosure? Well, here they are. They are looking awesome. Thank you very much. So pretty stoked. Here, you guys, chill. No, chill right here because, you know what, I don't want you guys dealing with the sun, right? That's probably a pain in your eyes. A little backlit is never good. Okay, so we got one cherry head. I put out the one, if you were watching the channel, you know there was another cherry head that was not quite ready to go. He was in the incubator, but he is in the incubator no longer because we got him out. Look at, there they are. Isn't that amazing? Where's one more, where is he? There he is. He's hiding in this little, hot area but here is the little dude whose yoke was out and it's just a few days after that video so go back and check that one out where i find these four that hatched naturally incubated naturally now someone purchased all four of these guys so all four of them are going to a new home but i wanted to hold on to them for about a week and a half two weeks just to make sure they're doing well eating and ready to go but what we're doing right now is we got to get all these little sulcatas kind of pulled up and i'm also going to go ahead put the radiated back in here we're going to pull this out because this is going to be the sulcatas water dish and we have to find hiding areas too i want to find a bit more areas for these little guy little sulcatas to hide in um it's gonna just hey, look at that guy go it's gonna just be really really cool but how many sulcatas do we have i don't know um, we're gonna count them up and we're gonna transport them. Actually, you know what folks? I think I'm gonna put them in here. I'm gonna put them in here instead. It's a little bit easier for me to use. And while we're doing it, we could probably give them a soak. So here's two. Oh man, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, scoop these guys up and count them. And I'll be uh, right back with a number and these guys all ready to move. You just chill here, people. All right, we got that beautiful radiated tortoise back in there. There are 29 sulcatas that we're gonna go ahead and move. Much easier to do it like this, my friends. Okay, there we go. Don't fall. We're gonna close this up. This is looking good. Maybe not close it up. It's, it's kind of giving me a little trouble here. And nice nice okay these guys have been dealt with we'll go ahead move that guy back up here in a little bit but right now we got to grab this might as well spray it out real quick a little hosey hose off and then that's going to be a nice shallow water dish that's going to go ahead and get filled up automatically every single day so love it because it's on a timer so this is gonna be fun, man. We're gonna see a lot of little baby tortoises moving in. I got a little schmutch right on there, sorry. Oh boy, what is that? That looks like Missouri, dried Missouri. Oh boy. Oh, 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 oh. Mm -hmm. Yuck. Okay, a little spit. A little spit shine for ya. There you go, okay. Let's do it. This is gonna be awesome. By the way, look at this guy's scoots, man. What an amazing pattern on his scoots. I love it. It's definitely not, uh, it's an aberrant design. Most of the tortoises have, as you can see, scoots that are uniform, but even though he's got a regular scoots, they are in fact uniform themselves. It's just a different pattern than most normal tortoises. And that usually happens, uh, some say it's due to temperature and incubation, um, that they just wind up getting kind of in a regular scoot pattern or an extra scoot or something like that. It does not hurt the animal at all. They don't actually um, pass that along genetically, so we're not too worried about it. Okay, so here's what I'm digging. I'm gonna go ahead and pull down some of the soil, make it a little flatter so we can get this, uh, get this thing dialed in so they can climb in it easily. And what we want is for this water, obviously, to kind of get into there and overflow and whoop-de-doo. 
Bada bing, bada boom. You got no problems. All right. That's going to pour right into there without any effort. All right, so what was I talking about? Where is he? Look at this. Really cool, right? I think that's neat. Just an interesting little dude. He's got this one scoot. And when you look at a tortoise that is more typical, as he is atypical, you can kind of see, right? Pretty neat. I love sulcatas. They're rewarding tortoises, but you got to have lots of space for these little boogers. Oh, look at this. Look at this. So cool. Look at them go. They're just the coolest little tortoises. Let's get all these little boogers out so they can walk around and we can check them out. We're not done. We're just putting them in here because it's so much fun. On account, you see baby tortoises kind of milling about in a new enclosure. I think this will be great. They're going to have protection. There's going to be no predators that can get to them. Plus, they're also going to have... Look at this. This guy's already nibbling. Already nibbling right there, maniac. Look at that. That's sulcatas for you. These guys are the kind of most gregarious tortoises you'll ever find. Hey, what's happening, dude? You flipped over? I'm here for you. Anyway, yeah, good stuff, right? Um, we're gonna let these guys motor around a little bit. I actually wanna turn on the water and kind of fill that up and show you guys how the automatic watering goes. But you see, here they go. They're just moving around, doing their thing. And the cool thing is we have shade so during the hottest part of the day, they're, they're actually shaded, but they will get some sun. Uh, as you know, they're gonna hide um, in different areas. So I'm gonna set that up right now. I'm gonna make some hides for these guys, and that's what's gonna be fantastic. So this way, if they flip over, they're not gonna, well, I'm gonna get this tortoise bunch kind of moved out of here because they're just kind of like crabs. They just all crawl on each other, each other rather, and uh, knock each other over. Yeah, boop, doink, right over. Nice, here they go, moving around. So we know we have 29. The other cool thing is, uh, this has this lip, so they're not able to climb out. I'm gonna just pull this down a little bit. Soil, pull that back, throw it over there. So they can't really climb up and out if I leave the door open while I'm servicing the enclosure. So we'll go ahead and do that. Now for me, I wanna roll back and just kind of have a look at what goodies I have for my friends at Fluker. I'm sure that I've got something that will accommodate uh, these tortoises if I set them up. Um, maybe some hides, things like that. Uh, that'll look really good in there. I just love doing this. Yeah, it's so fun. And since I have the space, it's just easy to do. So uh, give me a second. I got to rummage through this awesome pile of goodness that my friends at Aquascape and Flukers. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah. We're gonna do a mixture. I forgot, Aquascape, check this out guys. Oops. Sorry. Anyway, Aquascape sent me some of these logs and I think these will be awesome. Let me show you what they look like. Good old Ed, the pond professor, sent me these and I'm gonna use a mixture of the Fluker stuff and some of these cool things that my friends at Aquascape sent me. Let me show you what this is all about. Hey, what? What the heck? Not what I want. Okay, just open it up like so. Right here. This is gonna be awesome. I think this is gonna do that trick. This will definitely be a cool thing. Check it out. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, this is gonna be good, people. It's like a little log. See that? Pretty cool, right? Little log. It'll provide those guys with uh, some hide, shelter. I think that'll be neat. But I also want to get some of our Luker stuff out because uh, I want smaller ones also that the tortoises are going to feel more secure in. So I'm going to pull some Fluker stuff out as well. Okay, we have some large Haba hides right here. Okay. Nice heavy duty stuff from Flukers. Looks natural, love it. We had this one open already. These two I just opened. Uh, I've got a shallow water. Uh, actually, that's gonna be a food air dish there. But I've got and sprayed this off here. Uh, some of the styrofoam just got rid of it. Uh, but I'm, I'm digging all this stuff. This is gonna really dress this enclosure up and make it more habitable for these little bugs. Look at them all go. Look at them all go. So awesome. All right, let's figure out where we're gonna put these Haba hides. I know I'm gonna probably put the large one here, um, possibly kind of 
right here or maybe right here so they have to pass through it what do you think let's do this fluker log uh, excuse me this is an aquascape um decorative log i like that right there very simple they're gonna have to walk through it uh and that'll provide them with some shade and stuff okay so next we got the habahides right Habacave, cave rather and so these you'll notice boink okay he can dig in and it's gonna he, they'll dig out a little bit and they'll be able to hide in that so that's neat they just love piling up over there don't they so we'll just set them there and they'll be able to dig under which i think is going to be cool let's get one of these back here okay nice so they've got shade everywhere oh man he's upside down man alive but they will write themselves too but don't worry guys i'm always around don't sweat it i'm always looking at my critters making sure they're good all right so now i think we have enough hides to be perfectly honest remember this doesn't get direct sun during the hottest part of the day but the thing that i forgot to do boop boop be doo is um let's be as clean as we go right what i forgot to do was turn on the water let's get that water going and fill that up and uh, that's very simply done because i have a very inexpensive timer that you can purchase um at your local home improvements supplier chain store lowe's or home depot wherever you can get these they're a simple programmable timer um that your hose can kind of go on in this case i have poly tube attached to it and we're only going to do 10 minutes it's just a manual 10 minute thing it comes on every day at 10 and it waters all my plants waters the sulcata the large sulcata let's go over there i'll show you what it does it turns on it waters the large sulcata's um watering area and it overflows and you know it makes maintenance easy for me i just kind of cruise around and clean it maybe once a week or so i did that yesterday as you can see the water is coming out it overflows and goes into the pond but the tortoises know it's here where are the big guys don't you want to see what the little baby sulcatas turn into hey there you go there you go what's up everybody i'm just dealing with your children what's happening whoa don't do don't don't get my ankles there's hercules 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 uh and big girl lucky number seven everyone's doing well really really happy we cleaned them out we did a lot we did a lot of work um we're gonna redo the fence here as well i got a really cool idea with all those posts got a cool idea it's gonna look awesome around here we are improving the camp um we're gonna improve the way the camp looks we're gonna make it look beautiful i'm kind of happy with how it goes now you know what these are kind of what we call boots they kind of go on here and then they fall off and they're actually what the palm fronds are attached to but these make really good hides as well so i'm going to grab two of these and i'm going to kind of throw them in the enclosure so the tortoises can burrow under under them and it's an inexpensive hide so i've shown you three hides today we've got the one from aquascape that faux log they made we've got our friends at fluker always hooking us up with some really cool habitats and habit caves is what they are the large habit caves we use and now hey man if you're in a fix if you're in a pickle and you can't get to a pet store but you live in a tropical area you can use these watch this very simple oh look there's our water already filled up pouring out nicely watch this just put one of these there they can go under it look at this see it's like a little bivouac does that make sense you ever hear of a bivouac they could climb on it i'm not really worried about them flipping these guys are going to be okay what do you say look see here's the guy the little dude that flipped over let's let's watch what happens you guys keep an eye on him i'm gonna go get a few treats for these tortoises this is gonna be interesting let's see if he's if, if he's not flipped over by the time i'm back don't worry about it i'll get to it i'll take care of it this is exciting exciting youtube stuff Oh, 
All right, I'm back. What happened? Anything good? Let's see. Yes, he flipped over. See that? I knew he would. Uh, they're more athletic than you think. Okay, I'm in here, people. So what do we got? We got mulberry leaves. Watch how I feed. There you go. There's one here. Let's put one right there. Let's put some right there. And for the guys over here, a big leaf that just manna from heaven. Oh, plus all the little weeds that we've got in there. Let's be careful where we step because now we have little babies, right? Oh, okay. So this will overflow, that's fine. They'll have a little river, they'll be able to drink. Uh, it'll drain right out without any issues. So this is gonna be great. I'm very, very excited about what we've done here today because I love keeping these little tortoises in the most naturalistic way as possible. So that ensures that whomever gets one of these precious little critters is getting a very happy and healthy, well-started individual tortoise. So that's what I'm on about. That's what I'm all about. I love these animals. They're all under my care, and I want to show you how to care for them and get you guys set up with tortoises that will live for a very long, long time. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a lot of fun. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do something fun. We're going to go ahead and just leave a little of this uh, on a time lapse for you. That's how we're that's how we're rolling. We're rolling out with a bunch of little tortoises walking around. Have a great day. Thanks so much for joining me. Don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're interested in a little baby sulcata tortoise, only got 29 left. Um, this is where they're gonna be until they've all found new homes. But you can email me at Kenan, K-E-N-A-N-H, the number one at Comcast.net if you're interested. All right, everyone, thanks so much for watching. Hope you learned something. Hope you enjoy seeing these little tortoises live their best life. See ya.